Okay, now I recently, I'm going to give you an exact quote of something somebody said recently. This isn't me saying this. High quality vintage lenses produce lower quality results than low quality modern lenses. That's absolute BS. Okay, let's repeat that quote. High quality vintage lenses produce low quality lower quality results than low quality modern lenses. So this person is basically saying that crummy modern lenses are better than a really good vintage lens. Let me tell you what, this is not my opinion, this is a hardcore fact. That is absolute, unadulterated, pure, hardcore twaddle, cat scat, bullplop, nonsense. Every professional photographer, I mean hardcore, I mean like real hardcore, I mean right in the nitty gritty. Photographers do not agree with that nonsense. People that can afford anything, anything, it's like whatever the F they want, they can have it. Lens-wise, that's the case with me, except for some of the really, really, really expensive rare stuff. And there's some really oddball-ass Leica lenses out there that are just like, you know, they're $40,000 a piece. Don't need that shit. But people that can shoot anything, they're using some 50, 40, in some cases 60-year-old lenses. Let me tell you what, that statement is absolute nonsense. I have well over 200 lenses. Some of my favorite lenses... Um, are broken. What do I mean by broken? The aperture assemblies are delicate and uh, yeah, a few of them are quasi-modern, like 30 years old, uh, made by the uh, Deutsche Demokratische, but basically socialist Germany, East Germany, right? Uh, having lived in the Soviet Union for a few years, yeah. Um, socialist quality is not that good. Um, these lenses, however, produce very beautiful bokeh. Uh, a couple of my lenses are fixed. The apertures are fixed, not because they are fixed, it's because they're broken. But these lenses, I set the aperture manually to where that they're best. They're a little too soft at f1.8, but they're perfect right around f4, and they make beautiful bubble bokeh. Beautiful bubble bokeh, right? Beautiful bubble bokeh. You see, I can't go out from Canon, uh, Sony, Sony doesn't make anything, excuse me, Fuji, uh, Nikon, they don't produce any shit that does that. They just don't. So when you say that uh, awesome, when well he says, this person says that uh, uh, quality vintage, he's basically saying really good vintage lenses don't even match uh, like a low quality modern lens. That is such palpable nonsense, it's absolutely off the scale. It is a a 15 on a uh, 1 to 10 Richter scale. It's nonsense. You know, anytime I actually point out... You see, people are all the time pointing out anything that I say that's just slightly off. It's like, no, 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 no. People are all the time picking on me, you know? Correcting errors is not picking on somebody. Picking on somebody is going, you know, ha-ha, you're you know, a fat, bald asshole or something. You know, that's picking on somebody. It's saying, you said A, and that's palpably incorrect because of C, D, and E. That's not picking on somebody. That's pointing out something somebody said and saying, you're wrong, and here are the reasons why you're wrong. Boom, 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 boom. You ever heard the old saying, they don't make them like they used to? You ever notice like some of these old lenses like this, like this old Zeiss Jenna Tessa, which has uh, 14 rounded aperture blades? I mean, this lens is the tits. This lens is older. This lens is older than my parents. This lens is old. <laughs> don't tell them I said that, right? We can't make lenses like this today. This is an old man. This lens on my Fuji is the absolute shit. 14 rounded aperture blades, the precision, I've taken, I've got three of these, I've taken them apart to re-grease them, precision. Most of the parts inside of this are actually stamped. Not only that, they're stamped by hand. You ever heard that old saying, they don't make shit like they used to? That kind of applies to some, like, I'm talking about some real hardcore photographers, people that could afford anything, anything. And they're shooting with 50, 40, 60, some cases, 60-year-old lenses. Don't tell me that an awesome vintage lens can't produce results as good as a modern. The only thing that actually has improved over these many years is image stabilization, which obviously didn't exist until some few years ago. 
resolution is definitely improved. Not so much though really, except for wide angles. Everything like 35 millimeter and below is drastically improved. Basically, wide angles and ultra wides have radically improved. Those have radically improved due to optical design. When it comes to 35 millimeter and up, this is a hardcore case. And you know I know me some lenses. Things have not really improved that much. Um, are you going to be shooting squirrels on crack and trees? Do you need that insane fast autofocus speed? If it's like a fixed subject, like a landscape or a portrait, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with manual focus lenses unless you're a lazy idiot that doesn't know how to use a manual focus lens. So stuff like this is like, oh my God, you know, that's an old manual focus lens. I'm like, so who gives a shit? Honestly, who gives a shit? If you got skills, you can't focus this damn thing. You know what thing that's improved with technology? Using these old manual focus lenses with focus peaking, like on a Fuji, or dare I say a Sony, however Fuji focus peaking is better, is made using some of these awesome old vintage lenses just as shit. Meaning awesome. So, it's probably incorrect. See, people are all the time pointing out to me, it's like, you know, you know, most of the time they're wrong, they'll say, I don't agree with you. And sometimes they're right, you know, we all make mistakes, we all make mistakes. But that's not picking on somebody when you say, you know, you said this and this is why you're wrong. Boom, 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 boom. That's not picking on somebody. That's pointing out uh, an incorrect statement. It's not like it's an intentional lie meant to deceive, you know. It's just incorrect. It's absolutely incorrect. What I'm telling you is that statement is incorrect. It's nonsense. So ask me again why a guy... And I've got some of the most expensive modern lenses out there. i got lots of them. Over 200 lenses, well over 200 lenses. You know, why do I enjoy shooting with some broken, technically broken lenses? Because those lenses produce results that nothing that's made currently uh, can do. You know, the aperture, I have it fixed. I actually have to take uh, uh, part of the front off and actually manually adjust the aperture. But I set it perfectly like at f4 or f3.5. I can't tell. It doesn't make any difference. I don't give a shit if there's any metadata. I don't need metadata. It's about the damn image. I've heard some people say, well, those old lenses don't have metadata. And my answer to that is, who gives a shit? Do I need metadata? Does anybody care when someone looks at an image, a beautiful image, and they go, oh my god, where's the metadata? Nobody does that. I've never seen or heard anybody do that. Nobody gives a damn. Metadata? Are you kidding me? It's about the damn image. So ask me again why a few of my favorite lenses are broken. Ask me again that, that question. Ask me. Ask me. They don't make them like they used to. Ask some of the best professional photographers in the world why they're using 40, 50-year-old lenses. Ask them that stuff. Ask them if they think that uh, if it's newer and it's, it's um, a modern design, that it's better. No, that's not the case. It's about the image. Some of those stuff that's not made anymore. Yeah, the look that you're going for, you have to use that old stuff. Yeah, like radioactive lenses and funky lenses with 14 rounded aperture blades like this that are absolutely friggin' incredible. Just absolute. Look at that cute little bastard. I can't go out there and buy something like this right now. It does not exist. This lens is as old, older than my parents are. Why am I using this lens? Why shouldn't I be using a modern lens? Because I can't buy shit that'll make 